Well, Gaffer, we've lost out on penalties tonight here at Carrow Road, but despite that result, just how proud are you of what you saw from the group? Extremely proud. You know, it's uh, it's what we've been asking for. This and this is our fifth week now. We've asked to be um, hard to play against. We've had uh, we've asked for good team spirit, togetherness, uh, and make the uh, fans proud of us. You know, and I think um, I think tonight's performance was was fantastic. You know, for such a, a young, young, um, inexperienced team. You know, at times, you know, I, I was really proud, and um, no, it was good. Yeah, seven changes from the weekend, three players making their full senior debuts tonight, but the application, the shape, the discipline, it was all there again, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, we were diff disappointed to go in 2-0 down at half-time. I thought it was a little bit harsh, but, you know, we've got, listen, these are a top, top team. You look at the bench, you look at their squad, you look at their players, you know, these will be one of the top teams in the league for sure, and I'm sure they'll be in the top two. So, you know, to come here with the with the with um, with our squad and, and the way we applied ourselves, you know, it's very pleasing. Yeah, you mentioned the disappointment at going in 2-0 down at the break what did you have to say to them because it is a young side that could easily have been on the floor but they looked right back at it in that second half yeah and I didn't have to say anything really you know they were driving it themselves in there they, they were all very pleased with their performances you know they kept to the plan they kept to the structure and you know they were so disappointed in there at half time but you know they got themselves up for it and it was the young boys driving it as well which is which is brilliant you know and uh, listen it's, it's all about togetherness and uh, one thing I will be saying is that the fans that travelled you know on a Tuesday is it Tuesday I don't even know what day it is <laughs> on a Tuesday night you know oh, magnificent and they again got us through that second half um, you know of course we're really disappointed to go out on penalties but the overall performance was, was very pleasing and, and one the club should be very proud of. Yeah if we could focus on those young players that midfield three that started the game an average age of just over 18 tonight is that a show of faith from you that if you're good enough you're old enough? Yeah definitely and, and you know uh, I, I want to develop the players I want to play I want to work with good young hungry players and we've got we've got a lot at the club um, you know their performance tonight was good um, they're going to grow with uh, the experience of that you know Job's coming in for his first full debut at 16 just mm -hmm. 17 you know magnificent you know what an achievement that is and Starkey coming on uh, Alfie JJ they, they just grew with the game and you know young Willow left wing back you know um, you know, there's loads of positives to take out of tonight. Yeah, you mentioned that left wing back position. Jonathan Liko has had to play it during pre season. He was asked to do a job up there with uh, Lukas Jukovic tonight and scores his first goal for the club. What will, they, what will that do for him? Yeah, listen, Johnny's been fantastic during pre season. He's worked his socks off. He's, he's, uh, he's done everything I've asked of him. And, you know, his goal was top. You know, I think John's come to the club with a big reputation and maybe hasn't fulfilled it yet. But, you know, we believe in him at the club and, you know, I think he'll be paid that with a fantastic. Fantastic goal today. And away from the young players, important that you know you can get minutes into players that haven't featured so far in, this, in the championship campaign. Neil Efridge, Lukas Jukovic, who had injury during pre-season, they're all going to be needed. Does, does nights like this just keep them sharp? Of course it does. And, and from day one, I said it's a squad game. You know, everyone who's in that squad wants to play for Birmingham City and wants to play for each other. You know, they, 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 even the subs, the ones who weren't involved today, they got through the uh, they got the boys through tonight. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what we want to create at this uh, this football club. We want to create a, um, a unity. A of players, staff and, and fans and you know on night, nights like tonight it certainly helps. Yeah and you've encountered a penalty shootout so early on in your, your Blues career how do you sort of approach those is it a case of players who want to take them you, you let them select them or do you have a list? Yeah no listen if they feel confident enough to take them no problems no problems you know all the hard work was done before that you know then they go and express themselves it's a, it's a lottery the penalty shootout and as I say I was, I was pleased with the performance um, coming to a top top team with fantastic players um, you know so it, it, all, all, overall it was it was good. Yeah and does this just keep the momentum rolling like you say yes disappointing to be out the Carabao Cup but given the performance the spirit and the character shown Cardiff City on Saturday does it just keep that momentum and that feel good around the place going into another game? Yeah of course it does but it just comes from hard work you know the, the group have worked their socks off uh, the last four or five weeks and um, you know we'll be back on the training field on Thursday um, and we'll be working hard for that you know nothing's given to you yeah of course we want to um, continue that good that good feeling but again that comes from hard work and, and the boys are certainly putting that in at the moment. Thanks as always John. Thank you.